Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth. Thanks so much for dropping by. Well, today's an iffy day because I'm here at Vogelsang Antique Emporium to move out of my current space. <sighs> so yeah, um, I'll take you inside and show you my current space and then we'll pack up all that stuff and we'll talk about it along the way. So come on y'all, let's go dismantle my vintage space. are at Vogel saying I love this place uh, you've been here with me many many times and so today we're gonna go in and I guess take it down okay my space is right over it's really hard to see because the stuff is in the way but this shelf is mine it looks like some things have been sold it kind of looks in disarray so um we're gonna dismantle all of that but guess what plot twist Gotta i'm show you actually something. moving over here so how exciting is that i'm gonna have a little bit bigger space so i'm gonna have all of this i did bring something that i hope is gonna work right here and I'm gonna have this space right here. So, I'm pretty excited. Um, we're gonna see how it's gonna work. And um, I did bring some stuff and I guess I thought the space was bigger because <laughs> I got a car full of stuff in there. So we are gonna get busy and we're gonna kind of take you along the journey of redoing my new vintage space. So. Come on, y'all, I'm so excited. Here's all the stuff that I did bring all in the car. This is the piece of furniture that, it's a bookshelf that I wanna put on top. So we're gonna see if that will work, but I do have a ton of stuff. There's the mirror I want to hang and a bunch of stuff. So let's yeah, get it out. I got it up there. So let's see what you think. I think it looks good right there. So here's my idea. I kind of wanted to put like a tension rod right here, or if I could find a really tall swung base, that would be great. But maybe a tension rod here to maybe hang some things from in between these two, because that makes it the same height. Um, now this one will not be for sale, that is mine, but that gives me a lot more space. So. Now just to bring everything in. I'm checking in. I've brought in several things. Now nothing is set in stone <laughs> because you know I'm gonna change my mind 50 times, but I am working to kind of stack up the things here. Now I think this is about enough stuff on a shelf. I might could put a few things like littles, but I do not like really crowded shelves. Um, so I've still got some work to do down here and I've got some stuff in the car. So we still, but see how dark it is back here. I feel like I need maybe to bring some light or something through there so that some of that shows because it looks much better here. Um, so I still got a ways to go, but I did hang a mirror right there. So I like that. Um, but I still got a bunch of space, I think. And um, I'm gonna be bringing in some blankets and stuff like that. So I still got some work to do. So let's keep working, y'all. Right. I've added a few things here and there. I'm just not so sure. I mean, I like how this is kind of full and everything, um, but see how dark it is back there. I think I'm gonna have to rectify that. I may just have to put some different things back there that are light colored. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm trying to put out a little bit of Valentine's Day um, and uh, utilize the top because the goal is when they come through this door right here, the goal is for something up here to catch their eye and bring them over. So um, I still have all of my Valentine's Day stuff here that I want to put out somewhere. So I am gonna be moving some stuff around and way over there in the floor, is the box of things that I'm taking out of the other um, shelf. So I still have 
me zoom y'all back in. I still have a good bit of space right here, but I did want to bring like some quilts um, here. I've got a couple of quilts that I want to bring in um, and some things like that. So that's what I'm kind of saving this bottom space for. So I guess we will keep on working, huh? Okay, I'm gonna try to pop you up while I judge it around. So let's see if y'all will be able to see me. I got a lot of judging to do. Okay, I also forgot that I have all of this Tupperware and I'd like to kind of put the Tupperware out. So I'm kind of thinking of removing this, right? Putting the Tupperware there and then, yeah. I still got some judging to do y'all. I wish you were here to help. You can just let me know. Hey so I am done and the music is on really loud in the store today. I don't know why, but I am going to take you around my new space and let you see each one of the nooks and crannies in there. But I think I've got it like I want it. I still have some things that I'd love to put out, but we'll make room for that a little bit later. So let's take a look at the new space, y'all. Show you where it is in relation to the entrance. It is over here. So I'm glad that you can see some of the things up here and we will start taking a look. We'll start at the top and we'll go all the way down. There's a few more things that I could put up here. I've got some brown canisters. It's just a two set, but they're really, really cute. I tried to mix textures and colors in the booth. So I'm pretty pleased with it all getting to put out some new things and some things that I haven't put out before. I like this jewelry jar. There are 35 pieces in this, no craft jewelry, over $300 value, um, and it comes out to about $3 a piece. So we're gonna try that. I took that to the show and there was a lot of interest in it, but it did not sell. So we are going to put it in the booth for a little bit. And then I did find, do y'all remember when I got this little rack in the auction lot? So I'm not gonna sell that, but I um, do have a space for my little hat and a purse there. So I think there was already a nail there. So I think that turned out pretty good. Now I bought these from Sandy Spiff but I love the way that they dress up the fun here. And then it goes down into some of the Valentine's Day things. So I think that turned out pretty good. Now, again, this is a piece of furniture that I bought at the auction. And um, 
I'm not selling that piece, but I did put some things way up top. And then I was able to put in a lot of the blues, the whites, and the pinks um, to display it nicely. I'm really glad that it uh, fit on this piece of furniture that was already there. Got some pink clock crackle back there um, I got a cream and sugar now this one is a little bit different this is a Jeanette and it's buttons and bows so I haven't had one of those before I did bring a teapot I haven't had a teapot in here in a while so I thought I would bring a teapot and then this piece of furniture was already here and um, because it was already here it was too big I just didn't want to have to ask them to move it so I think it makes a good little display lots of little nooks and crannies in here I do have my Tupperware like I said I was gonna put then I have some um, needlework and some cross stitch stuff in there also some linens and some other purses so trying a different variety of stuffs so a little bit of something for everyone and then here on the corner these pieces are not mine but um, it's part of my space so I'm I'm going to put some of the pillows there that I've been bringing to live sales. They did not sell in the live sale. These are the last two that I had. I've sold several. Um, got a little Snoopy on the end cap there. And then a beautiful, beautiful um, pottery vase here. This one is so pretty. I love the toucan on that on both sides. Um, and that one is marked at only 25. So more than likely that will sell quite quickly. But I'm really pleased with the way that the booth turned out or the space rather. Um, now this bumper thing down here, that's not mine, but I didn't wanna move it. Um, but I do really like the way that the blue piece accent so let me know in the comments what you guys think of the space i'm trying to tie in some colors here and then break it up as the reds the blues all of the things so know how you think i did with my new space um, and of course as always as we shop any of my spaces or my hauls if you see something that you are interested in all you have to do is just send me an email at cprincess1 at comcast.net and um let me know what you saw. I can give you a little bit more information about that. But overall, I like the way I kind of taped this here. I like that it just brings a little bit of the color in and the fun. So I'm pretty stoked about my new spot. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too to let me know um, what you think. That's it, y'all. That's it for my new space. Yes, when one door closes, another door opens. So I'm super excited um, to have this new space, a larger space here in Vogelsang. I get to add many more pretties to um, the shop. And as you can see, it is full. Um, so I'm excited to have my things in here as well. So if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to all so you never miss a video, a booth update, or a live event. Until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.